Okay, so time. I totally resonate with the idea that I just don't have time for my yoga practice, for the beginner's course, for the membership. I just don't find enough time and I'm worried that I won't make use of it. I totally understand that. I think we all feel like we don't have enough time in the day, in the week, in the month to get everything done. And the older I get, the more I think that saying that the days are long, but the years are short makes so much sense, right? Because we're busy, busy, busy all of the time. But What I also have come to realize and see in my own life is the idea of alignment and that where we spend our time really does reflect our priorities. And so what I usually start with, even in my own experience, when I'm feeling like I don't have enough time for blank and the blank, the fill in the blank is something that I want to do. I want to have time for that. And so I take a step back and then I look at where I'm spending my time. Okay, not thinking, not feeling like I'm having enough time for this thing that I want. Well, where am I spending my time? What am I reflecting my priorities to be? And where am I spending time that I don't want to be, or I don't need to be spending that much time doing? And I can carve out some time for this other priority to really reflect and align for myself really what I wanna be doing and when and how and where and all of those things. For example, I have always been um, a scrapbooker which means I'm always perpetually behind in my scrapbooking, right? Anyone who scrapbooks, um, I think is never caught up, but I was falling further and further behind in my scrapbooking for my kids. And I realized like, I want to scrapbook, like I wanna have more time for that. And so I took a step back and I said, where am I spending time that could be spent here? And over the past few months, I have found more time to do that. And I have made really good progress and it feels more in alignment for me. Now, this is never gonna be perfect, right? I always think of it as a juggling act, not a finding a balance. That idea of finding a balance of work and life, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I think it's always a juggle that's always shifting. And sometimes in life, we're gonna have moments or months or a period where our priorities turn and are shifted somewhere else. And that makes sense, right? If there's a health issue or something very important at work that comes up, like sometimes there will be things that become glass balls when you're juggling. You can't drop that one. It's the most important. And so, yes, that is definitely the case. And I think we need to be okay with that and cut ourselves some slack that we're not always going to have this perfect alignment of our priorities and our time. But when we are kind of in that quote unquote kind of normal time, normal life or schedule, that's where I really think we need to sit back and reflect and decide what do I want to spend my time on? If I feel like I don't have time for blank, do I want to have time for blank? Is that really something that I want to make time to do or to learn or to focus on? And then, okay, when and where and how could that look? And The brilliant part about my online offerings is that they can fit into your schedule. So everybody has a different schedule, different needs that it's like, you know what, over lunch or right after lunch, I have kind of this downtime, this break period, or you know what, I could get up 10 minutes earlier and build some yoga into my morning practice. Or you know what, when I first get home, 
everybody's always busy doing their homework, doing their whatever, I can make time then. And the other tip that I have, so if you decide, yes, yoga is something that I need, I feel better, it's a priority, I need to do this practice for myself, for my own health, and you decide that it's going to fit into your schedule, I have a few tips for you. Number one, make kind of a goal or an intention or a mantra, something that you can remind yourself of as to why this is a priority for you. Why are you deciding that I want to do this? And frame it in something short, present tense and positive, right? I am worth it, right? 10 minutes I can do, right? Something like that. And depending on what resonates with you, sometimes people will say, you know, like a mantra, kind of repeating that to yourself. I sometimes like a visual. So maybe even a post-it note on your mirror when you are getting up in the morning to remind yourself. That's right. You know, yoga is a priority, you know, something like that, right? And that you look at every day. Some people really benefit from writing their goal or their intention down every day in their planner, in a notebook, on a post-it note, wherever, right? As a reminder that this is true and giving yourself that permission on a daily basis for the priorities you've decided to set. And for my membership specifically, there are so many flows in the membership, that this does not have to be something that you see as I have to practice every day, or I have to do an hour of yoga every day for the membership to make sense or to get my money's worth for the membership. In fact, I usually always tell people as an additional tip to build up rather than the other way around that start with once a week decide i'm going to try an under 30 minute practice once a week schedule that in your calendar decide when it fits and write it in as an appointment with yourself appointments with yourself are just as important as appointments with someone else and decide which one you're going to do you can come in and you can look in the platform and decide in advance which one you want to do or you can decide how you're feeling when you get there but you can book that appointment with yourself in advance as you look at your week and once you start to build some momentum you build consistency with that once a week and you start to maybe see some benefits or you start to feel better it's easier to build and add a second time each week rather than decide I'm going to join this membership and I'm going to practice every day for an hour and then feel like you're not living up to that. The cost of the membership I have set how I do so that you don't have that guilt factor of, oh my gosh, to make this worthwhile, I have to do X amount of yoga a month. Because especially depending on where you live, the cost of my membership equals the cost of one drop-in class at a studio so that for less than a dollar a day you have access to that membership for when it works for you but not this guilt of I have to get in every day or I'm not getting my money's worth and the flows and the practices that are in the membership are also to meet you where you're at not just with time but also with the type of yoga that you want I'll show you behind the scenes here of what the membership looks like when you get in to give you a chance to see what it looks like, right? New member roadmaps start here. There are some paths, some ideas to help you be motivated and be consistent. But for the practices themselves, there are full length flows split up in categories. There are specific flows for the type of pain you might be having or the type of day you might be having. 
If you like yoga sculpt, there are sculpt flows. We have a live class every month for members and the replays are put into the membership. There are restorative practices, yin practices, relaxed flow style practices. There are meditations that you can use over lunch or in the morning or on the weekends, whenever you want a meditation instead of a physical practice. There are modules for shorter practices, under 30 minutes, 45-ish minute flows. The categories continue on to a second page. You have access to the flexibility challenge, the full length or the short version. There's chair yoga or yoga you can do at work at your desk. There are chakra flows audio files if you want to download an audio file and you don't need the video you just need the cueing perfect there are audio files and there are yoga tips and so if we go into one of these modules we'll go into this 30 minute or less you'll see there are a ton of different flows in each module to pick from here's a 10 minute here's a 10 minute a 15 minute, 20, and each title tells you how long they are so that when you're deciding, when you're planning, when you're scheduling, you know what will work right away from the title before you ever even go in to make it easier for you to get right to your practice. You can bookmark your membership on your laptop, on your desktop. The, platform has an app that you can have on every device so that no matter where you are, you can access yoga when and how and where you want so that the time part is easier that it's not, okay, well now I have time, but what am I going to do? Is there a class at the studio? What can I find on YouTube? You have this right at your fingertips, ready to go. You can plan and schedule and everything you need is right there. And again, you see in this yoga for what ails you, some are long full length practices, some are short 28 minute practices. So everything is in here, but the title should hopefully tell you kind of what it's geared to quote unquote help with right so that you know ah this is this is what I need right this will help me feel better and you can see this category already has three pages of different flows so there is something for everyone new things are added every week and again not to pressure you to be in there every day right you could never get through all of these practices every month I don't think that would be a lot. And new things are added every month. The goal is really that whatever time you have, you have the platform, you have the on-demand membership app ready to go to fit into your schedule. You can do as much or as little as you want. And when those priority shifts happen, right? When you turn and have to dedicate more time to something that has come up, it's okay. The membership is still there in the background for if you can sneak in a practice or when things balance back out and you can come back to those other priorities and we'll be there with you as a community ready to welcome you back to your mat. That that commitment is to help you know that it's there and that you can practice when and how and where you want. So I can't wait to welcome you into the membership to give you recommendations or answer questions or to take your requests. I love requests from members on what they want and want to see in the membership. So hop in there, start that free trial and let me know what I can do.